do you know the difference between a vehicle with all-wheel drive and a vehicle with four-wheel drive or four by four? While all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles do operate very similarly and use similar components, there are some key differences that you need to consider the next time you're looking to purchase a vehicle equipped as such. For example, this 2019 GMC Terrain uses GMC's Traction Select system. In normal everyday driving, especially on dry pavement, you're going to want to leave it in two-wheel drive mode. But using this rotary dial here, for slippery or icy conditions during the winter months, turn it once to the right to activate the all-wheel drive system. Now let's say, for example, you find yourself on a sandy or dirt-covered road. Rotate the dial one more time to activate the off-road mode. And if you're looking to tow a small trailer, up to 1,500 pounds, activate trailer tow mode. And to go back to two-wheel drive, you can just switch it one more time and it'll go back over to two-wheel drive mode. Now this GMC train is a little bit different due to its traction select system, but like most front-wheel drive based all-wheel drive vehicles, they will operate just fine under normal driving conditions. However, if it does detect slippage at the rear wheels, the vehicle will automatically apply torque to the slipping wheel to ensure safe, secure travel. As opposed to front-wheel drive based all-wheel drive vehicles, you have rear-wheel drive based four-wheel drive vehicles such as large SUVs and pickup trucks such as this 2019 Ram 1500. Now opposed to having an actual shift lever, this one does it electronically as you're going to see in many vehicles today. Now of course it's going to operate in two-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive mode. But for better traction in slippery conditions, simply press it into four-wheel drive auto or to lock the differentials, select four-wheel drive high. For especially treacherous terrain, it's a good idea to keep four-wheel drive low handy. This is going to change the gear ratio of the differentials to give you more torque to get out of a particularly slippery situation or for pulling a vehicle that is stuck. However, no matter what vehicle you drive and no matter what drivetrain it has, the only thing that holds your vehicle to the road are going to be the tires. So if you want especially safe travel during the winter months, stop into any rust or location and ask us about equipping your vehicle with snow tires. It truly is an investment that you'll wish you had sooner.